Hey everybody, it's Stacey Sobel with Salon Today Conversations and today I'm with Stephanie Fox Jackson and you are going to be one of the speakers at Forest Uplift coming up January 25th. Yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, what, a week and a half away? So I'm sure you're, we, we caught you in time. You're pulling yourself, your presentation together, I'm sure. And thank you for carving out a little time to give us a little preview. But you're going to be talking about motivating versus leading. And what does that mean to you? Yeah, so I'm going to talk about kind of where we are in the world, like as humans, like yeah. business, life. I mean, we're all, we're in a global pandemic, right? It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you're experiencing this. And so we're all also facing the business strife that comes with right. the emotions and the economic realities. And so I want to talk about what it means as a leader to lead your people and not just try to motivate. You know, I hear a lot of owners right now talking about how to motivate performance, of course, because we're struggling. Businesses are really struggling. And so we want to drive performance. But I think uh, from my work with the workforce, it really comes back to leading over motivating, you know, because when we lead, we're actually taking somebody by the hand, right? Like we're, we're with them and motivating feels a little more like incentive based. So we're gonna talk about the dynamics of that and, and how you actually lead and build strong relationships that impact performance. Now you recently did a research study and you found that people really want their leaders to be friends. Um, yeah. At least the workforce today, that's one of the things that they want. How does a leader walk the rope between being friendly to the team, but not, but still being their leader. Oh my gosh. That's like the question I think all of us really wish we had the perfect answer to, but what I can say, I'll speak to the data is 91% of people said, I want my leader to also feel like my friend. And when I speak to the leaders, they kind of cringe a little because it's like, wait a minute, I don't want to be out having cocktails with them. I don't want, you know, we think of friendship and we think of something different. Having um, them over for dinner and yeah. yeah like, <laughs> but, but I think what we have to do is actually take friendship and get to the root of what friendship is. And friendship is relationship, you know, and what exists in relationship that makes a relationship solid and impactful. Um, and that's trust, you know, that's communication, yeah. that's mutual respect. And so they say friendship. I think that we can shift that and say relationship and really it's, it's that logic. Honestly, if I was going to simplify it down, it's where you say people over profit, right? Like how do I invest in the people to yield higher profits? Well, you build better relationship with them. And then in turn, they feel like they're your friend and you're their friend and you are set up to do a much better job of coaching their performance um, and giving them feedback because they think you care. Like, of course, they're going to listen to you. Right. Well, I think I think leader. Or I think uh, salon owners can gravitate around the word relationship. It's a little easier than friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I understand how that you know, based on trust, by either being transparent with your business and your numbers, and letting people know where they stand and what you expect, and and helping them with the tools to get there is is important. So. Um, you're also going to be talking a little bit about technology and how today's owners can use that to really alleviate some time pressure and help them guide their team in a more effective, efficient way. So what are, what are some of the things you're going to be talking about? Well, you know, one of the people struggle with is like not having control right? Like, and we have no control. We can't forecast anything right now. Like it's so challenging. And so I think where technology helps us with that and Forrest is launching their new performance feature on their Silas app. The beauty of that is it gives you some information at your fingertips that can give you a sense of control over how you're going to move forward. So if you're the owner and you know that you don't have to deal with pulling reports to get your stylist, their performance feedback, and if you're the stylist and you know it's like real-time numbers and you can look at the data, and by the way, this all proceeds that you have a great relationship, then the two of you can connect so easily on what you can have control over, you know, like how you can grow, how you can focus on a certain area of performance. Um, I just feel like I love numbers and I love data. And as a result, I love technology because it gives us all of that very easily. And so I think this particular feature that's coming out with Forest is so exciting because it's going to take away so much hassle on the salon owner side of pulling reports and waiting for your team to like 
either ask you for them or make time to get them from you, or it just, it makes everything easier. It puts that information in their hands. Well, I think leading by the numbers also helps with that relationship. Instead, you're not like standing over them saying, you need to do this. You're saying, here's your numbers. Here's where, you know, your goal is and how can we help you get there? And instead of kind of mandating and threatening. Well, right. I know like as an owner, I want my team to have access to that information without them having to get it from me. You know, like I have so many other things to think about. Like if I build that culture where we care about performance, we understand numbers are a measurement of a behavior and that that impacts our performance. And then they can look at them on their own, like awesome. You know, and I want to have the relationship that we can look at them together, but I want to make sure that like, you're not waiting on me because I have so many things on my to-dos, especially I, in the world. Like, I don't want you waiting on me to know what your average ticket is. <laughs> well, and if you're waiting until the next um, one-on-one, you know, you don't have, you've wasted all that time to course correct. If you're looking at your numbers daily or hourly, you can, you can correct in the middle of the day and make up your goal, daily goals. So, well, in, in, in reality, today where a lot of businesses are behind, right? Like they're, they're not where they were last year. And so we do have to have performance focus if we want to keep growing and thriving and doing the best we can do for even just getting back to regular numbers. Yeah. So I think there's never been a better time being that the team needs connection and relationship. There's never been a better time to kind of reset, even if that hasn't been your previous reality, you know, you can reset, you can show up differently as a leader and then you can use the tools that we have available to us to drive performance. And if you have the right relationship, that just works so well. You know, otherwise numbers are just numbers and you're just throwing them at people or they're looking at them and they mean nothing. But it's just a good time. Like we, we need each other more than ever. So it's just such a good time to lead differently. So I just want to encourage everybody to check out Stephanie's presentation at Forest Uplift. It is an event that's open to everyone. You don't have to have Forest Software to be able to attend the event. And there's some other great motivational speakers on there as well. Um, It's Monday, January 25th from 1 to 3.50 p.m. I think that's Eastern Standard Time. And um, tickets are $25, so they're nominal fee. And you can sign up at Forest's site. Um, That's P-H-O-R-E-S-T dot com. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye-bye.